Good afternoon and welcome to Take Your Life Back Today show with Ralph Friedrichs. Today we are going to uh, talk about 10 over-the-counter meds abused by most teenagers. Hold on one second, let me just go over here. There we go, center myself a little bit. These uh, over-the-counter medications are abused by teenagers and uh, we are going to discuss that. But first and foremost, give a shout out to Dr. Luis Gonzalez from startingpointmn.com. He can take you from your addiction to your recovery step by step, one day at a time. He will never ever talk about your past. He will never ever drag the past into your present or into your future. He wants to talk about today and tomorrow. How can you work and live with your addiction in a great life to come? Call him at 844-414-8444. Go to www startingpointmn.com and let Dr. Luis Gonzalez help you take your life back. He can also make you an addiction recovery coach. If you have passion, professionalism, or personality, and some sort of an addiction background, whether it's dealing with your own or helping others, give him a call at 844-414-8444 and he will help make you an addiction recovery coach. Folks, a quick little story. I was talking to a, uh, a friend of mine last night about his addiction issues and one thing I stressed over and over again is that your past is past. You need to concentrate on today. You need to concentrate on tomorrow. You will not ever move on if you drag your past into your present because your past will give you a trigger, a stressor. Hopefully you have learned from your past and today is a new day. I recommend it to my friend. Maybe he needs a fresh start to get away from the old neighborhood, from the old things that dragged him down in the first place to, place to get into drugs and alcohol. So I hope my little conversation with my friend last night opened his eyes and possibly opened a brand new world for him. And I hope he takes his life back. Give a shout out to GlobalEyeglasses.com where they are uh, focused on saving you money. They have frames as low as $6 up to about $69. These frames include the following, a case, a cloth, single vision standard clear plastic non-coated lenses. A standard prescription would be a normal prescription. Single vision meaning they're not bifocals and non-coated meaning that they are just uh, exactly that. Go to www.globaleyeglasses.com and let them focus on saving you money. Folks, they have uh, progressives, they have transitions, photochromatics, they have uh, polarized lenses, they have thinner lenses, they have shatterproof lenses, they have tinted lenses. You need to go to www.globaleyeglasses.com. Let them focus on saving you money. And here's the great thing, folks. I've helped hundreds of people already because I have been in the optometry field for over 30 years now. I will personally help you place your order. If you would give me a text at 631-599-0218 or call me at 844-405-HELP, I will walk you through the process of ordering your new glasses. I will help you pick a frame. I will recommend what lenses I think are going to work for you. I will uh, speak to you about the different options and the anti-reflecting uh, glare free lenses and the UV lenses and the scratch coated lenses. We'll talk about all that and I will personally help you place your order but you need to contact us at 631-599-0218 or 844-405-HELP or just go to their website at www.globaleyeglasses.com and let Global Eyeglasses focus on saving you money. Go to my websites, www.takeyourlifebacktodayshow where you'll see my latest episodes you can also go for information on drugs and addiction, go to www.clearviews.info and www.clearreform.com. You notice, folks, every or two out of three of my websites start with the word clear. Back when I first became sober, I decided to come up with a name that meant something, that had an impact for people to understand. So what better than to start a website with the word clear, which stands for... Community Lessons and Power Addiction Recovery. It is our community, your community and my community, a global community, our lessons of maybe our past and our uh, battles that we deal with today will empower our addiction recovery. We all need to come together as brothers and sisters, as soldiers of this 
war on the drug epidemic, which in uh, a national level is, is absolutely disgusting, and even in the global level. Ten over-the-counter <coughs> meds abused by teens and sometimes also by uh, adults. Robitussin and NyQuil is one of the most abused over-the-counter medications. It has a thing called uh, dextromorphine that uh, that ingredient it is over a hundred different over-the-counter drugs and that ingredient more or less just puts you into a uh, low uh, it kind of brings you down three levels it's, it's not a high but what it is is uh, uh, it can be actually high because it does uh, some of it have alcohol in it uh, but you have to read the label for that but Robitussin and NyQuil is the most abused over-the-counter drug. Another one would be pain relievers. Adults and teens take pain relievers like uh, astromenophon and ibuprofen, uh, ibuprofen in doses higher than recommended because they want a uh, faster relief. These, some of these words are tough, so I'm going to pronounce them again. They are called astromenophon and ibuprofen. Those are in pain relievers, and people are taking them in a higher volume, thinking that they can relieve their pain faster. This goes back to a previous segment that I had about abusing the directions of what the, uh, the drugs are supposed to be taken. So we have to be careful. Another huge one is caffeine medications and energy drinks. Over-the-counter caffeine pills like no-dose and energy drinks like five-hour energy or pain relievers with caffeine have all been abused for a buzz or for the jolt of energy. Folks, I have taken these five-hour uh, uh, energy uh, shots back when I was uh, still drinking and I will tell you it does give you a jolt, it gives you an instant, uh, an instant burst of energy but it also can make you feel like you're high. These caffeine medicine, uh, over-the-counter medicines, and energy drinks like over-the-counter caffeine pills like no dose, or energy drinks like five-hour five hour energy are abused by teenagers and also by adults. And I, folks, this is what has been bothering me for the longest time is, why is it that our local uh, mini-marts and our 7-Elevens allow these five-hour energy drinks to be bought by people underage? And even a no dose, that they're just hanging there. When you walk into your local 7-Eleven, they're just hanging there. And even if they weren't being <clears throat> purchased, they're accessible to be uh, uh, shoplifted. So people are still getting it. Diet pills. In large doses, diet, spill, diet pills can create a buzz. So if you take a lot of diet pills, especially if you're not eating, that will create a, uh, a buzz for you. Laxatives, herbal, uh, diametrics. Like diet pills, adults and teens abuse these to get a mild bug, uh, buzz. These are laxatives and herbal uh, diametics. Like diet pills, adults and teens abuse these like mild uh, to get that mild buzz. Motion sickness pills. Motion sickness pills that contain Benadryl and Dramamine. Uh, take a large amount and can cause, if you take them in large amounts, they can cause a large high. Benadryl and Dremamine are in your, lack, uh, in your motion sickness pills. Here's another big one, sexual performance medication. When you mix that with alcohol, it counteracts the lack of sexual drive because of the alcohol. So in other words, you are drinking to get drunk but you're sexually not performing to your peak ability. So what do you do? You take sexual performance drugs, so you're going from one end to the next end, and bam, they explode together. If you do want to have that <clears throat> sexual experiences and you know what your capabilities are, why do you want to have alcohol? Why not just be sober to do it? And if you're going to have alcohol and now you're going to feed yourself sexual performance drugs over the counter, and abuse that, what purpose is that serving? Next one is uh, sodiopetrin, uh, which is a nasal decongestant uh, spray which people are abusing and snorting daily. 
you go into people's medicines cabinet and you always say, why did I have two or three of them? That is because that's what they're doing. What about the herbal ecstasy? This can be swallowed, snorted, smoked, and causes euphoria, increased awareness, sexual sensations, and that is herbal ecstasy. And then there are other herbals. Other herbal products are being abused for the stimulant and other effects does not show in your urine. So people are getting their natural highs and they figure if they are called in for a, a pee test, it doesn't show up in your, um, in your urine. Folks, these are 10 over-the-counter that I discussed pretty quick and I'm going to go over them again. But you have to please write some of these down. And the hugest one, I think, is Robitussin and NyQuil. Robitussin and NyQuil, people, kids, teenagers, are buying it and s sipping, drinking it like it was a soda. And when they do, they get that instant high. They get drunk pretty much off of it. And the ingredient that's in there, which is called dextromethorphine, is in over a hundred, and I repeat, over a hundred different over-the-counter drugs. That drug, uh, dextromethorphine, being in a hundred different over-the-counter drugs, causes a high. They might as well put vodka, whiskey, marijuana into the into the robitussin and NyQuil. Because Robitussin and NyQuil is designed for the people that need it due to colds, due to the flu. It is not designed as an alternative to alcohol and drugs. Pain relievers is number two, and adults and teens uh, take pain relievers like astraminophene and ibuprofen in doses higher than recommended because they want to get relief faster. So instead of going to the doctor and they have pain and possibly getting codeine, morphine, knowing that the doctor's not going to give it to you, they figured, okay, well the bottle says take two pain relievers to relieve your pain and they're taking four to six to get the pain relieved faster. What they're doing is they're feeding their body with extra drugs. Caffeine meds and energy drinks is number three. Over-the-counter caffeine pills like No Dose, which you go into your mini marks markets and you go into your 7-Elevens are hanging right on top of where the shampoos are and the razor blades are and all that stuff. And even if the kids cannot take that and walk to the counter and get it because maybe there's a responsible person behind the counter and won't sell it to them, they're going to put it in their pocket. Why not put these things behind the counter? So if a legitimate customer comes in that needs to purchase it, they need to be handed to the, to the customer. Why give the children, the teenagers, the opportunity to steal this? And then why is it that the mini markets and your local 7-Elevens are selling the five-hour five hour energy bottles to anyone these days? Anyone. It is just simply irresponsible to do that. What they're doing is they're giving these teenagers a instant buzz with them. Shame on them, and I hope to God things will change with that. And then you have the diet pills. In large doses, diet pills create the buzz because the purpose of a diet pill is to eat less and then supplement it with the diet pill. So now your stomach is pretty empty already and now you're feeding yourself with all these diet pills which are causing an instant high. Laxatives and herbal dimetrics, whatever that is, I don't even know what that is. Like diet pills, adults and teen abuse these to get a mild buzz, a buzz. When I say abuse, they're taking double, triple dosages. Motion sickness pills, that contain Benadryl and Dremamine taken in large amounts will cause a high, just like Robitussin and NyQuil. Benadryl and Dremamine are designed for medical purposes only, but yet kids, teenagers, are able to get it, purchase it, and then abuse it. Sexual performance medication, folks, 
If you're planning on having sexual experience with your partner, by drinking alcohol reduces your sexual performance. So what are you folks doing, your teenagers, your young people, maybe even some irresponsible adults, is you're feeding yourself with sexual performing medications to counteract what the alcohol has done, which is decrease your sexual performance. So your alcohol decreases your sexual performance. Now you take your sexual performance medication, which now goes down and then brings up your sexual performance. The, you, you know what? If you can eliminate the sexual performance medication by not drinking the alcohol in the first place. Now we have the uh, sodium ephedrine. This nasal decongestant is snorted through the nose, designed for people that have congested blockages, abused for a high. People are being able to get it again into your local 7-Elevens, teenagers and uh, young adults are able to just pick it up right off the shelf and stick it in their pocket. Even, like I said, if they make it to the counter where there might be a responsible cashier that will say, no, I'm not selling you this. They just are able to steal it. I'm saying put it behind the counter, make the person point out what they want, and then they get it. And folks, for all you people that might be saying, well, it mostly is behind the counter, I will tell you this. Some 7-Elevens do have it behind the counter. I used to be security for 7-Elevens. And I'm telling you, when you go down one aisle, there's sometimes candy and bread. You go down another aisle, you have your DVDs and your little uh, pharmacy section, I guess you could call it, or your little section that has health and beauty aids. And part of that section, you will find your NyQuil, you will find your Robitussin, you will find your uh, nasal decongestant. You will find Benadryl and Dramamine. I'm saying take those items, put them behind the counter, and make the customer ask for it. Herbal ecstasy. This can be swallowed. It can be snorted and it can be smoked. And it causes euphoria, increased awareness, and sexual sensation. And last but not least on my list is the other herbals that are available over the counter. Other herbal products are being abused for the stimulant and other effects does not show in your urine. So if you uh, are one of those people that uh, got a job and knows they have to go for a urine test, yet does not want to give up the alcohol, does not want to give up the drugs, they will turn to other herbals, which still give you some of that high, yet will not show up in your urine. Folks, just remember, you don't need to abuse over-the-counter drugs. Life in itself can be fulfilling. Like I told my friend on the phone last night, I know it's easy for me to say that. But I was there at one point where I thought there was no hope, no angle, nowhere to turn. I thought by me giving up drinking, my life would never be fun again. But I was wrong, folks. I was totally wrong. When I gave up drinking, things became better in life. I told my friend last night on the phone. Mentally, I became sharper. Physically, it showed because I had more color. Spiritually, I found that one ingredient that was missing in my life, and that was hope. And who better to give me hope daily than my Lord Jesus Christ? Financially, I have become 150% more stable because I am not abusing my wallet. I'm not taking money away from my family to feed alcoholism, or in some cases, other people to feel to feel uh, to feed drug addiction. All these changes come with sobriety. Yes, you can go ahead and drink, and maybe, just maybe, feel good for a while, and then the next day, back to your issues, or seek help. I was telling. My friend last night, there are a lot of people that just cannot give up cold turkey. They cannot give up all the alcohol and drugs. Speaking on the uh, alcohol side of it, I told, uh, my friend mentioned that when he drinks beer, he seems to be okay. It's when he gets into his choice, which is vodka, which was mine, where things start happening. 
things such as blackouts, things, other things that come with that. I said to my friend two things. Number one is anytime you want to drink vodka, call me first. Why? It's because I will do my very best to make him realize that it is not his best interest to drink that vodka. And the second thing is to start weaning yourself off alcohol completely. Concentrate maybe on drinking just on Saturdays and Sundays. I am not promoting drinking for all you naysayers out there. What I am saying for some people, to give it all up right away, cold turkey, it's tough. So I have a saying that people laugh, a half a loaf of bread is better than a no loaf. My recommendation to him was, give up alcohol Monday through Friday, and when you do drink on the weekend, drink beer only. And if you have the urge for vodka, knowing that vodka is your poison, call me first. 24-7. I hope that recommendation sits well with my friend, and I hope my recommendation, my friend, about starting fresh, relocate, make a new set of friends, surround yourself with sober people. I hope those recommendations sit well with him. I hope to pray that my friend continues to think about what we spoke about, continues to con contemplate sobriety, and continues to remember that if he should fall into that vodka desire to call me first. I hope to God he's watching, and I hope to God his family members might be watching me, because there is hope for him, no matter how dark it might be for him or many millions of other people, there is hope. Hope starts within yourself, sobriety starts within yourself, and it starts with him saying, I have a problem. I don't care if he announces it to the world or not. I do, because I know it helps somebody. But he has to admit it to himself. He has to realize that only he can break the chains of this addiction cycle. Only he can do that. And with the uh, help of God, he can do it. I told him, reach out for something called hope. Reach up to God, and God will guide and direct him. Guide and direct millions of other people. Compare your body like a ship, and your mind is the captain. Right now, your ship is out of control in the ocean. I'm speaking directly to my friend. And millions of other people might be in the same predicament. Your ship is out of control. Your captain, which is your mind, can't control your body, which is your ship. You need navigation in life. Carrie Underwood said it best with the song, Jesus Take the Wheel. Let Jesus, let God, take your ship. Take control of your ship and you, the captain, and provide the navigation to sail smooth. Yes, even when you turn to God, there will be ups and downs, but here is the thing. If you rely totally on God for any ups and downs, everything will work out, maybe not immediately. Like I told him last night, you will not see changes immediately. All big changes, and believe me, living with addiction is a huge change in life. All big changes start with baby steps. Start with small steps. I hope and pray, not only for my friend that I spoke to last night, but for millions of other people, that you find that if you reach to God and ask for God's interruption, let God navigate your ship, your mind, your ship being the body and your mind being the captain. Let him navigate you through any crisis in life. And if anyone, including my friend, feels the need to have to start drinking, possibly binge drinking, call me at 844-405-HELP or text me at 631-599-0218. I promise you that I will continuously be here 24-7 for your assistance. It is my mission to bring you the knowledge, to bring you the stories from real people into your living room, into your kitchen, into possibly a jail cell because you're there for a DWI, or a homeless shelter because you depleted all your money due to drugs and alcohol. Possibly into a nursing home because you're there for your age and you feel lonely. I am also here for you. 
I will make sure that if you request a certain topic, I will bring that topic up. All you need to do is text me at 631-599-0218, call me at 844-405-HELP, and I will help take your, that's right, your life back. I told my friend last night on the phone, I took my life back. It is not as easy as it sounds to do it, but with small steps, things will start coming together. With the support of people in, in your life, and I'm speaking directly to my friend, support of people in your life that truly care and love you, you will overcome this addiction issue. You'll always have an addiction, but you'll learn to live with it, like I do, and thousands of other people. I am here to beg each and every one of you folks watching me that if you have an addiction issue, to contemplate a action plan for a better tomorrow, to contemplate an action plan to take your life back. And I'm here to help. 844-405-HELP. Text me at 631-599-0218 and let me help take your life back. Folks, a sober today, I guarantee you, will make a better tomorrow for you. That is a guarantee. And if you start thinking positive, positive things will happen in your life. You will see positive results. Eliminate the negativity around you. There are people maybe bringing up your past that will drag you right back down, possibly into some kind of binge drinking or uh, some kind of um, drug addiction uh, uh, utilization again. Don't let that happen. If people are negative around you, disassociate yourself with those people. Stick around with positive people, find friends that are sober, and you are on your way of taking your life back with those small steps. You will see the big changes in your life. Folks, I hope to God that these 10 over-the-counter med uh, uh, medications abused by teens and some adults have sunk in some information into your brain. That Robitussin and NyQuil over-the-counter are abused, pain relievers are abused, caffeine medications and uh, five-hour uh, energy drinks are abused, diet pills are being abused, laxatives and herbal uh, medications are being abused, motion sickness pills are being abused, sexual performance medications are being abused, or, um, uh, sodium Fedrin is being abused over the counter. Herbal ecstasies are being abused and other herbal medications. These are all being abused and they're all found in your supermarkets. They're found in your 7-Elevens, your mini markets, and they're being abused not only by teenagers, but also by adults. Hopefully, this was a good segment for you to learn some. I hope and pray my friend that we spoke last night to each other that you will find the answers that you so desperately are seeking. Remember that I am here for you 24-7. As a matter of fact, I'm here for anyone that's watching me 24-7 at 631-599-0218 or at 844-405-HELP uh, and let me help take your life back. I hope to God that you have a great day, but more importantly, I hope you have a sober day and may God 